Hey guys, Cosmos here from Kabam. You see that on top left, Kabam and Server for Europe. I'm going to be making a uh, video beginner's guide on Sylphs. So here um, on level 50, uh, you get unlocked the Sylphs, and they are. Um, this is Iris, but you can have other kinds as well in the future, a lot more. Um, where you can uh, you start by running over to. You can click on the map. You'll get a quest to run over to the Sylphs area over here, Arena, Exchange and Atoll. So if I run over to... Uh, let's just go in that direction generally. You can also click walk over there, but it's always easier to walk with, uh, with the map mode. So first you have to get one. So you don't have them, um, you can go to the Sylph, Sylph Arena here. I'll do that afterwards perhaps. Um, yeah, let's do it, or let's do it now. So, Sylph Arena is, uh, um, first of all, once you have the Sylphs, unlocks at 55. Okay, I'll do that later then. It's, it's just like Solo Arena uh, a little bit, but uh, for Sylphs. Uh, you can have up to three. I'll do uh, a version on that later on. In, in the Sylph Exchange over here with Alice, but you also have exchanges inside the, inside the, the doll itself. You can exchange water seal, uh, water sylph seals, or wind sylph seals. Sixty of them for a sylph, and you have a chance of getting a white, or let's say a big chance of getting a white sylph, smaller chance of getting a green, stronger sylph, and um, a very small chance of getting a blue, uh, even stronger sylph. You cannot get for free purple or orange or red. Um, you cannot get that for free but it's already good that you can get up to blue for free. So what you do is, um, for your first sylph you'll have a quest from the game itself which will ask you to collect 10 essences and fight with, uh, with for example, uh, with, with these iris thingies over here and if you kill 10 of them um, then you can get 10 essences and you can exchange for, for a, a sylph and that's how I got my iris. So to do that you just attack one um, I'll do that with, with Pan um, in a moment. And you collect their essences. So that's the first quest. But it, that first quest is unique. Actually, if you want to get more, and you, um, it's a good idea to have at least three. Because for the Sylph Arena, you need three. Um, you, can, um, you, you need to collect up to 60, 6, 0, 60 of uh, their essences to exchange for one. That is time consuming. And there are people who are more, let's say, how shall I call them nicely, let's call them dedicated, who spend hours and hours here fighting and collecting to try to get a blue one. Now the chance of that is very small. Now over here you can also open a map, and this is the area, this is the level 1 area. And I'm going to use the map to travel to level 2 area, because in the level 1 area you get the iris. Iris is, is this one. She is a healing sylph. And, and her spells are, she's got a healing spell, a default, a, a simple attack, and an area attack. Um, she can buy, you can buy more spells for them as well from the shop. And in the level 2 you got Pan, and I want to have a Pan. Um, well, of course I can't farm the whole thing on this video, but I'm going to uh, show you. So for example, I attack one. And you have a chance, uh, or it'll be a fight, or you will get his essence uh, straight away. So Iris is magical attack, um, as well as she has therefore a very good magic resistance. And Pan is a physical attack and physical defense. So uh, as a mage, you probably want to have a Pan. If it's too difficult, like when I became level 50, I, I just couldn't defeat the pan, the, the pan uh, in the silver at all. And so, um, when it's like that, then you have to go for an iris, and that's what I did. I first got an iris, and then once I had the iris and I leveled her up, and I made her stronger, then um, I was able to defeat the pan over here. So you see, now I'm switching to iris to help. And now she can she can hit him hard with magic because Pan has very bad magic defense. That's what Pan is bad at. But he is great at killing other mages because mages tend to have low physical uh, resistance. 
So that's why I want to get a pen. Even later, if I had a chance to get Apollo, maybe I will still take a pen because for Class Wars, for example, uh, if I as a mage would want to would need to fight, uh, I probably would have a little better chance uh, by having a pen. So by fighting him, I got you see uh, just some lousy experience, six experience, but you get this essence of win times one, and you actually have a chance. Uh, a small chance that you get an entire sylph dropped by by after the fights. There is that chance also. But from whatever farming I have done, um, that actually hasn't happened to me. So um, that, that has to be a low chance because imagine if you have to normally farm uh, 60 of these uh, to get a sylph. Uh, imagine how low chance it is to get an entire um, sylph like, just like that. So I'm gonna go to Iris. This time I didn't use Thunder. You see how hard it hit me, and now I can't heal because if I heal, the healing is gonna go on the Templar. So and I can't afford that. So now that the Templar is dead, I can heal because the healing always goes to the weakest person. And with the healing done, I can take him down. And this one, the Delphic Akron Wave uh, for Iris, is, the, is the, her strongest one. Although it's an area damage, it is a powerful uh, spell. So you can use it even against a single target. So for now, as I'm just level 15, I'm in a very bad equipment. I'm barely making these fights. But for most people, by the time you become level 50, uh, you should be having pretty decent equipment. I just want to show you that you get for free an essence so far unlucky what I wanted to show you is that even when you attack it's not a fight every time it, you can easily get um, like just straight away the essence without the fight and from speaking to people I found out that um, it, it happens actually uh, maximum I've heard is up to seven times in a row um, but that you can imagine is extremely rare that it happens that you get essences without fighting. But let's say you can, you can um, if you do this for many hours, you can be sure that let's say it will happen that you get one, two or three in a row, but not seven. That, I, I don't know, um, there is no reason for that person to have lied to me. Um, but if it did happen, I think it's once in a million. So it, it must have been extremely low chance. Otherwise, you can imagine it's easier for everybody. So it's not so easy. So there you go. Now, come on. Sh give me one for free for the video. You're on YouTube, fan. Darn it, he is greedy. Now, while we're fighting, uh, I'll also explain more about them. So, with the Sylphs, it's not just so simple. Actually, they are quite complex addition to the game. And they make you, of course, a lot more powerful. But they also add complexity. You need to um, understand all the spells that they have. And they have a lot of spells. Especially the ones you can buy with cash or with balance. Um, they have a lot. So for example, let's start talking about the mechanics. You see I'm fighting in my regular human form and you see the little sylph, uh, my little iris here on the corner. And by the way, you can give him a name. So let's do that after this fight. And you see while she was in her little form next to me, she was doing also additional damage while I was fighting. But once I transform into her, then of course she doesn't do that additional damage. Instead, we become stronger together uh, with her health uh, added to mine, uh, something like that. Of course, she also, for example, Iris adds 3% magic defense. And um, also uh, the other sylphs give different passives. For example, the pan, I think, was giving... 
physical or, or um, I don't remember them all by heart physical and uh, life and Apollo was doing Apollo was giving a higher percentages of the same sorry of, of magical defense so Apollo was I think 5% magical defense versus Iris 3% magical defense but those things are of course nice those passive bonuses but they are absolutely negligible in the greater strategy what you want to choose is you know I don't choose Iris because she gives 3% magic defense even if she would give 0% magic defense as a knight I still would have picked her because she gives me healing that I don't have so you know it, it's the strategic choice that you have to make as a mage I like to have Pan because like I explained to you in class wars you're going to be fighting other mages and what mages are bad at is physical defense so if you have a Pan you have a lot higher chances of getting through their defenses now some people like Apollo just because he looks awesome and is more powerful but you know, in, in um, oh darn, my healing went to the Templar, so it's a little bit more dangerous. Um, but Apollo, for example, doesn't actually do that much damage to mages because they have very high magic defense. Now the next fight I'll explain the awakening um, but let me quickly show you also when you go to the sylph you can see their stats and I normally uh, uh, click auto and confirm for, to for allocating the points so for iris it'll always allocate to endurance and intelligence for pan I think it's always strength and endurance um, the, this awakening advanced awakening opens up at level 55 she gets a passive so her her I think it was her healing gets better now in enchant you can use sepulchrums to increase the stats but you if you really want to see the difference you need to use thousands so for for um, uh, non cashers um, probably better idea to save them up for the future seals which are coming out for engulf this is when you have a lot of sylphs uh, that you don't need you can fit them into one and for upgrades this is the one which is used the most uh, you can upgrade them like I did with Balance or Maharas I got uh, the iris which was white and I upgraded her to green 3 star and you see to, to uh, get her to 4 star uh, I need to get to, to to click more here basically with Mars or Balance to get 300 points and then she'll become 4 star. Once you get 5 star then then um, after that you, you can change the color so then she will become blue and then you again start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So and skills are super important uh, you get whatever you get for free but you have also the ones you can buy so for example for Iris Rain Dance over here is awesome it heals everybody extremely strongly um, uh, even better than blessed uh, blessed light from from the mages so let's go back into the fight so you see when the fight starts um, my awakening points here are zero when I attack I get 250 but then when he attacks I also get 250 750 Thousand. So for every action, thousand to fifty. Now he's gonna attack. Thousand five hundred. So for every action, it's filling up. And the second it gets to three thousand, you can awaken the self. It doesn't mean you always have to do it. It's just I can't awaken it while it's not three thousand yet. So now it's full and I can awaken, which you can do also by clicking the space bar. Now it's a little dangerous because my health is health is kinda low. So now I don't want to use the healing because it's gonna go to waste, so I'm just gonna go into attack. And even if I die the Templar should be able to kill him. There. Now just for the sake of the video I also wanted to get a little bit lucky and get a wind essence for free. Come on you guys. They are being very greedy. 
Now, for another thing to explain about the Sylphs is you're not obliged to use their entire power. So once you see it's filling up, up to 3000 points. And then when you become a Sylph and start using the skills, it starts to go down. And once it's depleted, once this, this power is depleted, then you go back to your regular human form. But you're absolutely not obliged to use the entire uh, energy of the Sylph. In many cases, actually, people just use it for, for example, Iris, they use it for healing. So you become a Sylph, for example, you do your healing, um, and, and then you can cancel. You see, if you have a cancel button, if you cancel, you will return back into your regular human form. And, and then you, you don't have to wait this entire distance if you don't need to. So you see in this battle I actually need to heal myself. You see how hard it hit me? Critical 3840. And that's another thing, Sylphs can hit extremely strong with critical hits. As well Iris can heal very well with... Um, uh, she can heal like for example on, on my other account she can heal up to 80,000 health just with her uh, critical with her healing rain dance if it's critical and with 80,000 health you can imagine everybody and it's a party heal everybody is is on full health so uh, you see I've collected now 18 essences or 8 now I had 10, 11 I think come on bad you can do it and um, Another thing to explain is then the combination. So for example, if I have an Iris and my enemy has a Polo, what, what's good to happen is when, when he... Um, what's usually, what people usually do is they wait until the, the, the fight timer goes to the 50% additional damage time and then at that time they hit the strongest uh, skill, like the Delphic Akron wave for Iris. And then of course the damage is a lot higher. So what you can do is, for example, if I have an Iris and let's say my enemy has an Apollo, he will use his strongest skill. So to counter that, I don't want to hit him. To counter that, I should do healing. He will hurt me, but he, but then I will heal it back up, so it'll cancel it out. So you see, it's kind of like game mechanics like that. Same for Pan. Pan can do an area damage, but I can do area healing as Iris. So each one. Is, is playing like that uh, very interestingly. So you have to find this relationship between the Sylphs. And the colors make a huge deal actually. Green is a lot stronger than white and blue is a lot stronger than green. So it's not just uh, small upgrades, they're actually gigantic upgrades. So one blue um, Sylph in the Sylph arena can kill, uh, can kill let's say a whole team of three sylphs which are green so that's that's how big the difference is so i'm being totally unlucky actually of not getting a single essence for free but for the sake of the video i want to catch it but anyhow since there's so much to explain about sylphs um you see all the time i'm giving you uh, explanations while fighting Now for, uh, for the Iris, what, uh, what's also useful is when you're doing um, dungeons with a party, uh, with rain dance for example, you, you always have to coordinate with the mage because it will be very silly if the mage does an area healing like less light and you, you do the same with the rain dance, then you'll have double healing which will be not good at all. So then you need to communicate better. But you see then the gap between let's say mages and, and other classes lessens because if people have an iris then you don't actually need to have a mage as such. Because well everybody, sometimes there are four people and all of them have iris and then you don't actually need a mage, they can all actually heal. And even sometimes better than the mage, uh, mage itself. Come on, Pan. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Nope. He is not nice at all. Alright, 
here we go actually I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause and, and uh, resume when I catch one for free alright this one goes down that's just the same fight as I was in I'm gonna try get one come on give me for free one nope so I'm gonna pause this fight as well alright here we go with this battle as well Now remember the shortcut for the sylphs is space. It's really helpful to activate them with space, but with cancelling it doesn't you have to still click with the mouse. Um, another thing with the sylphs you can arrest them, which will which will allow you to put them in meditation in form in the form. And you can call them back so then they come back to fight with you. You see my bell rating increases because she has this additional magic defense. So let's try to take this pan over here. Finally, there. Successfully collected Essence of Wind times 1. So you see how that works. So let's go back. Actually, I didn't have to go to the gates. Now I need 60 to collect to get the pan. I collected 23, so I need to get more. Um, now, before doing all that, I want to show you the meditation in the form. So you see in the, in the form you have two meditation, um, I don't know what they are, altars or whatever. And um, if you rest yourself, you can put, put, it, put it here to meditate. And she gets experience and uh, one of the two, either the 12 hours will finish and she can't get any more and you have to collect it, kind of like a crop. Uh, or you can collect it any time in between and you still get the experience. So I'm gonna stop it because I need to call her because if, if you're not if she's not active she's not getting experience from the quests and everything. So that's important. So that's for meditating. For the farm you also let's see if I can find um, no I can't find now but uh, you see here for example in, in uh, your friends farms you see here gore uh, meditating the pan and, and and his iris. You can meditate two at the same time and your third sylph, you see here the iris is flying around. Let's see if somebody here, here's an Apollo flying around and uh, Apollo meditating. Uh, and you, you get uh, also like energizing the tree, you can, you can uh, also kind of uh, support the experience of the sylphs of your friends when you see a red circle uh, next to the name. Finally, the sylphs get experience from everything that you do. So you see my iris is now level 30 in one day uh, because uh, I'm level 50 and in all, all the quests I did, um, she earned experience. Uh, so that's also quite important um, that you have her active uh, or your main sylph to have your main one active so, so it can get experience um, with everything that you do. Uh, so that's um, and so that's what I talked about the stats I talked about um, attributes and growth the higher the better but basically uh, you need to focus on getting as high a color of sylphs as possible um, by collecting Morris for example in, ho in events for example you have a, uh, here a Santa cap exchange and you have for 30 Santa caps you can get 35 Morris so you have a choice or you will exchange you can get, for example, a hat for 60, or you can get 70 Maris for the same price. So it's a choice that, that you'll have. So, but sylphs are rather important. Uh, for, for enchantments, I explained the uh, advanced just does 20 times, or, or 50, in this case, 1 and 50. You always can put the mouse to see it. But in, in the case of upgrade, it's like with the horses, it's 20 times. I think that's about it. The only thing I didn't show is the Sylph Arena because I need level 55 for that. Um, but that's rather straightforward. You just enter um, and the higher you are the more rewards you get. It's kind of similar to the Solo Arena. Just slightly different dynamics that's all. Um, and I think that's all for now for Sylphs. Um, more Sylphs are coming like mentioned. Um, and you can also see their ranking actually. Sylph strength. And you can see Heracles here by Thyron is the highest one with 
in, in this server with 29,000 bell rating it is a purple uh, Apollo two stars um, you can see on my blog a crazy self 50,000 bell rating orange um, of course though versus those kind of monsters uh, it's practically impossible to fight for regular people but of course they are rare so that's it you guys for the beginner's guide on sylph i hope you uh, enjoyed it and found it helpful please do click on like and subscribe below the video if you did it always helps a lot uh, check out my blog is the most popular blog on wordtune you can find the link in the description or you can google cosmos wordtune blog and uh, you can uh, also uh, come, come to play on this server or, or whatever on, on Kabam by going to kabam.com or you can google Kabam Wartune and you'll find it and you can also check out other games they have. So that's it from me, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.